be honest and blunt as I can possibly be. You know, I was just, I have been depressed my entire life. Um, and just dealt with so many insecurities and, and this, it kind of came, I guess, to a head, you know, a couple years ago when Let It Rain was number one. I had all these good things going on and I just wasn't happy. And, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, I just, you know, hit a hit bottomed out and, you know, decided, figured it out that, you know, that there was something I, I for most of my life just always tried to fix it, you know, and, and thought that success would do that. And, and I can remember I, I was having a conversation with Chris Young at ACMs a couple years ago and I remember walking away and being so blessed to have been at this party and all these nice things being said and and I just should have been on top of the world, but I just for whatever reason I couldn't physically get there or mentally get there either. You know, the hardest thing is, you know, your friends and those closest to you that don't really can't really understand exactly what it's like to be there. They're the first people to say, you know, snap out of it, man. What's wrong with you? Like you got so much to be thankful for. So then on top of all your worries, you're carrying around the guilt of feeling sorry for yourself. And you know, for me, I just always started in the, like negative. And it was so hard for me just to get to zero, much less like, you know, get to a 10 and have a great day. It just seemed like it was a constant grind to just, you know, find something to latch on to. So um, I have a lot more good days and bad days now. And there's a lot of people responsible for that. But um, I think the biggest thing, like someone that goes to rehab, is, is recognizing it yourself. And there was, there, oh, I know there were a lot of people around me that were dying to get that email that I sent out saying, you know, hey, I'm going to finally go to counseling. They wish I'd have done it probably four or five years ago, but um, better late than never. I've been going to counseling for a couple years now and take a lot of really expensive medicines and uh, just, uh, you know, made a lot of changes in my, in, in my personal life and, and I don't, I've learned to not take life so serious and, and to kind of enjoy it and um, had a lot of help in doing that.